Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of Lead Code Daily Challenge, um, smallest number in infinite set. And so basically, we have initially a set that contains all the positive integers from one all the way up. Um, however, we have a constraint that we are limited to 1000. So that makes it easier. Um, and the goal is to build this um, smallest infinite set. Um, and uh, initially, it contains all those positive integers, and then we have two functions we need. One is pop smallest, and the other is add back. Okay, pop smallest basically just removes and returns the smallest integer in this infinite set, and then add back just adds the, that positive integer um, if it's not already in the set. Okay, and so those are the two functions we need to implement. Um, so now. Because of this constraint of 1000, it should be really easy to build this because um, what we can do is initially we just, the main thing we wanna know is first, when you add back a number, we wanna know if it's present or not. If it's not present, then we wanna add it. And the other thing is we want to know whether an element is, so if we know whether an element is present or not, then to get the smallest number, we could either use a heap, a heap queue or a priority queue and then just pop the smallest number. But then we would have to um, to check for the presence in a priority queue, which would be O of n, right? But an easier way is, since we have only 1,000 elements, is to actually just loop through from 1 to 1,000. And the first element we find that is present, we just return it. That way it's actually just O of 1 operation. And so that's where this 1,000 makes it easier. If it, if we didn't have this constraint, then we could use a priority queue, um, maybe with a set to make checking the, or a set or a, an array of boolean to make sh to to be able to check um, for the presence of the of an element, right? And so that's that's sort of the idea here. Now, let's um, okay, so let's implement it here. So first, we need um, to know whether we said we just need to know the presence of a number. So initially, the problem says the infinite set of numbers is uh, are present. And so, but the infinite here is just up to 1000. And so we can just put here up to 1000 two, just so that in Python, we get all the way to 1001. Um, okay, so that's the first step. Now to get the smallest number, we can just, uh, first actually let's implement add back. So to add the number, we just say that it's present. Okay, maybe, and then, uh, so this is present true in case it was put to false here. So when we pop an element, let's say X, we will pop it here. When we pop it, we'll say that it's no longer present because we removed it, okay? Now, how do we find the smallest number? We said we just go through um, the numbers from the smallest to the highest. So smallest possible is one, highest possible is 1,000, and so we go all the way up to 1,000, uh, one. So here, actually, we just need 1,001, um, okay? And then if that number is present, then we can just return it because we know it's the first small, the first one in the, this order that we found that is present, which is, which would be the smallest, right? So if it's present, then we want to set it to not present and then return it. Okay. And that should be it. And we are guaranteed that we'll find it. So we can just run this um, and we can submit and that gets accepted. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it for this problem here. Now, in terms of time complexity, this is, um, this is, we are doing only one assignment. So of one here, we are doing 1001 iterations at most, but it's constant because it's just one up to 1000. So of one here, this is of one. So overall, each operation will take a uh, constant time. In terms of space, we are mainly using this one, which is up to 1000. So again, constant space and it's Similarly for all the other functions. Okay, so constant time, constant space here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for today. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.